I'm Kim Carter. I work as a keeper in the reptile amphibian team and I help look after this girl. Uh, so this is Professor Lu. She is one of our four Chinese giant salamanders. There are really no other species like them. They're critically endangered and they come from a distinct line of salamanders which are 170 million years old. So they are kind of removed from all of our salamanders and they do look quite different. Um, she is also one of the largest species of salamander. So they can get up to 1.7 meters in them and about 56 kilograms in weight. She is about 70 centimeters long at the moment, so she's got a lot of growing. Uh, there has also been one report of an animal being two meters long. So one interesting fact about them is that um, they have really good camouflage, but they are kind of ambush predators. So they will stay still, and I love when she feeds because she will do a massive gulping motion and kind of vacuum suck her food in. It's very impressive. So what we're doing is we are target training her. Training in amphibians, um, there's not a lot known anyway, and it's not really done. So this really helps us sort of determine how intelligent amphibians can be and just what they're capable of. Um, it's also mainly just so that we can move her to the new house, which is opening next year, um, in a more stress-free way. So typically, we would have to restrain her by grabbing her. By target training and then eventually crate training, it means that she has the choice to, to move and come into a crate so that we can pick her up and move her in a stress-free way. So we don't really know how many animals are left in the wild, um, as the data is just not available. But Zedicel and our researchers have added to the knowledge that their populations are in decline. So they do need all the support they can get. So these guys are heavily farmed and hunted for their meat. So they are critically endangered and that's partly um, because of habitat loss but it's also because um, they get collected and farmed and Zedocell along with our researchers has found that um, there is high demand for their meat as a high prestige, rare kind of novel meat source. So part of the things we do is to help manage a way so that these farmed animals do not impact the wild population. So the show is not just a zoo, we're a conservation charity. So we work in collaboration with Edge Fellows and researchers that help work with the local people in China and across their range to help conserve this species. We also like to learn as much as possible here. So by doing target training and learning what we can about the animal, uh, we help sort of add to that knowledge of this species. Thank you for all your support and all the support in helping us protect wildlife, including species like our Chinese giant salamander.